Not everybody believed that it was a stress-related disease. Uh, there were two scientists in Australia, uh, Barry Marshall and Rob Warren, who uh, did not believe that. Barry uh, Marshall at the time was a uh, gastroenterologist, and he had studied with a microbiologist in Australia who had told him that there were bacteria that you could find in, uh, in the stomachs of, uh, of animals. And uh, Barry thought that he saw those very same organism or kind of organism in the stomachs of humans, but he made the association that he only saw it in the stomachs of people who had gastritis and ulcer disease. Rob Warren, who he worked with in Perth, was a pathologist who concurred in this idea. Uh, Barry tried very hard to be able to grow these organisms he could see in culture, and he actually failed. And he was so frustrated that he took a holiday and went to uh, a place south of Perth uh, to do a little relaxation. And he forgot the petri dishes that he had streaked with patient's material on the bench. And when he came back after several weeks, lo and behold, there was colonies of bacteria growing on the petri dish. So uh, he took some of these and put them in the microscope, and they looked like the same bacteria he could see in the stomachs of people. So uh, at that point, Marshall and Warren were wondering what they could do to establish the fact that the organisms that they had seen in the stomach were actually the cause of ulcers and, and dyspepsia. So uh, as Barry tells the story, uh, he convinced Rob Warren to drink some of this culture of this organism he had grown. And, uh, in fact, poor Rob came down with gastritis and ulcer disease, and this is a picture of the biopsy that came from Rob's stomach showing that, in fact, these organisms were alive and well in his stomach. And Barry, to his great credit, also drank the culture. He also got ill, uh, but not as ill as poor Rob did. So it's nice to have a friend in tight places. Now, as many of you will know, particularly some of you young scientists watching, scientists like to talk about their work. But you also probably know not everybody wants to listen. And so uh, Rob and Barry submitted a paper describing their results to uh, a, a learned society in Australia. And uh, they got a letter back saying that they were sorry that their paper uh, wasn't accepted. And uh, it, this says, if you can't read it, that uh, it wasn't accepted. But uh, they noted that the number of abstracts they receive increased in 67 were submitted, and they were only able to uh, accept uh, 56. So that was supposed to be something that would, would relieve them of their anxiety of being refused this thing. Uh, however, uh, in the end, they were right. So Barry Marshall and Rob Warren uh, in 2005 received the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for the discovery that the bacterium that they found in the stomachs, which they called Helicobacter pylori, uh, played a role in gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. And uh, it all worked out well in the end for them, uh, as you can see. <laughs>